Dear colleagues, um, my greetings from Prague. Here is our studio where we film another dental episode about dental tips. And this one it will be dedicated to endo and we will be speaking about MTA placement into the open apex and some tips and tricks related to this topic. Before we start, I would like to remind you not to forget to put like to this video, to share it with your colleagues and to follow us on our YouTube channel because more nice content and more videos are coming. Let's go! So my dear colleagues, if you are using uh, MTA as the material uh, to create apical plug in a case when the re is an open apex, for example, I would like to share with you some experience related to this uh, topic and some clinical steps to make it more predictable. Uh, first of all, if you have perforation or open apex in case of retreatment, when tooth was infected, uh, it usually um, follows uh, the uh, low pH in the root canal and also in, in the area of periodontium. So basically, if you will start plugging your MTA to create apexification, it will uh, not be 100% sure that the MTA will be completely set. So uh, the trick number one is to use calcium hydroxide uh, for uh, a uh, few weeks, uh, for example, uh, as the another type of uh, disinfection, let's say, and the root canal uh, cleaning disinfection, if you follow this principle, or you can actually add uh, part of M, uh, a part of the, uh, the calcium hydroxide just to the periodontium directly using your microscope, and you will be able to see uh, the result later on. In my case that I'm showing you here, I used, um, M, uh, I used calcium hydroxide as another appointment, so you can see that I'm just uh, rinsing the, the, the calcium hydroxide out from the root canal. So basically we kept this tooth under the calcium hydroxide for a few weeks. And then look, what I do, uh, the first portion of MTA in the open apex, in uh, case you see the periodontium, we place without any mixing. So basically it's dry, complete powder of the MTA. So when you place it down to the apex, uh, it will get some moisture from the uh, periodontium itself and it will become, uh, it will, uh, let's say, uh, get this liquid to, to set properly. So the first portion of the MTA we usually place uh, without any, any mixing and then after that we mix MTA according to instruction and we plug it into the root canal as usual, creating a, around uh, three, four millimeters of the apical portion of the MTA, and then we uh, start doing our obturation. So here is the view of our MTA placed that way, and here we have uh, after obturation. So this tooth is ready for the restorative part, which is uh, another topic, and I think that we will make our uh, dental episode, dental tips about that as well. So just making some summary and to, uh, to um, highlight again the tips that I shared with you right now. The first is before you use MTA, you can use calcium hydroxide to make better pH. For the MTA set, you can use it in conventional way for a few weeks, or you can place calcium hydroxide, just a small drop of the calcium hydroxide to the periodontium, and then you go with your MTA. And the second tip is, I usually uh, use to use MTA as the first portion without, uh, uh, without mixing. So actually it's not mixed. I use it in a powder version, just a powder of the MTA we place into the apical portion. The MTA will get some moisture from the periodontium and then the second uh, layer, let's say, or portion of the MTA will be placed being mixed. We have to create around three, four millimeters of the apical plug and then we go with our regular uh, obturation and then restorative procedures. That's all. I think this will help you in your endodontic cases. If you want more, you always uh, are more than welcome to our training center, to Prague, and you will get as much clinical tips as possible related to different topics in dentistry. And we have a very big, uh, nice course, big endo rest course, about different aspects of endo and restorative plans. So please welcome and may the dental force be with you.